Whoa. Here we go. Hi there, in this video I'm going to be telling you all about my experience of decluttering a hoarder's house. If you're new to my channel, my name's Mel. On this channel my videos are typically decluttering tips, a bit of organisation and I also often show you when I'm decluttering so that you can declutter alongside me. So if that is what you're interested in I'd love to have you hit the red subscribe button below and join me in this community. A few months ago I was asked to help declutter a hoarder's house. To be honest I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. This is the dining room I guess. And are they the two bedrooms, are they? They must be the two bedrooms. Living room. Oh, living room. Living room? It's not really living very room. accessible. Yeah, we've got some. And I've got dust ones. Oh. Yeah, and these must be the big rooms. It's just like a tiny house, but it is majorly, majorly packed. So we have definitely got our work cut out. It's okay, we're up for a challenge. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. See this stuff all over the floor as well. It's pretty packed full. And that's back out towards the front door. And a couple of the other guys have just taken some books down to the used bookstore down the road and I've been busy trying to just clear out the bathroom and then I've discovered the toilet doesn't flush so we can't use the bathroom while we're here but anyway all the mess is mainly cleared out of the bathroom and there's a lot of books and stuff here and sorry that's the toilet in there and then this is the actual bathroom there's a bath and a sink in there but you can't get to it because there's all this stuff in the way at the moment, so yeah, we're just working our way through. We've probably been here for about an hour and a half, I think, and slowly, slowly making a dent. Okay, so day two, we're back at the house, and it doesn't look like it, but we actually made quite a bit of progress and cleared some stuff from the piles. Today we really want to concentrate on this section of the front room, this section, because if we can clear some of this stuff out then we've got more room to get into the bedroom and clear some stuff out. And then the two guys who were working in here yesterday made some really good progress. You would have seen before there was just stuff all blocking here. And they've taken, there were quite a lot of books and rubbish and um, some books were taken to be donated but there's just so much stuff we couldn't take it all at once so they've started stacking books against the wall and hopefully we can get like Rotary or St Vincent de Paul to come and pick them up when we're finished categorizing stuff and there's nowhere to put rubbish except out the front of the house um, like there's no garage or anything so we're just putting rubbish out in the front yard and then we'll probably call like a junk removal rubbish removal truck to come take it away because there's just too much stuff for like the general rubbish places um, and we found some stuff that the family will want like family photos and letters and things so all that sort of stuff we've been setting aside and taking that back so this is like the lounge I guess lots of DVDs and this person was a really keen avid reader heaps and heaps of books so down there is the bedroom, which we can't really get into at the moment, but 
we're gonna clear some rooms so we can hopefully today and then coming into the kitchen this is where I spent my time down this end of the house yesterday and um, actually managed to clear a lot of recycling so these green bags are recycling bags are full of recycling um, everything that can be recycled except for glass basically and then coming into the bathroom this mainly all this stuff is mainly tools lots and lots of tools there were also heaps of books which I took and put into the bathroom I managed to clear a path into the bathroom as I couldn't and I couldn't even open the door there was stuff behind the door and I managed to get that up and then I've just put some of these plastic containers there were heaps of storage these plastic empty storage containers in the house which have come in really really handy so I've just put books in those which um, will need to get shifted out that's rubbish more tools new consumables like soap and washing powder and stacks of tissues and stuff and then the toilet and lots of tools and just random tools and stuff the owner was of that generation where you just you fix things yourself rather than call a tradie so um, he had a lot of tools and things and a lot of books about how to repair stuff again this is coming back into the kitchen now these big bins aren't actually rubbish bins well they are designed to be rubbish bins but this has food in it there's no fridge here and no pantry but a lot of his foodstuffs were kept in here so one of these big white buckets with the lids has a whole lot of apples in it which are starting to rot so we're going to clear that out today and put it in compost and another one of the big buckets has a whole lot of um, vegetables like parsnips and carrots and those kinds of things and then another one of these big bins which I think I put it where did I put it? I think I put it underneath all this stuff somehow um, it's got a lot of pantry items like cereals and oats and wheat bix and things like that so um, didn't really use the cupboards a lot there's not actually a whole lot in the cupboards and drawers a little bit of crockery which seems to not have seen the light of day in ages and like in here a few cleaning products and things but most of what was used is sitting on top of surfaces and stuff so um, yeah one of those people who like to see what they had I guess and didn't like to put put things away very much so um, this pile in the front room is what we're going to work on because we really want to clear some space so we can start taking things out of the bedroom you can also see on the left here there's another doorway going into another bedroom I have no idea what's in there because we haven't even got to that stage mm. and then at the back of this pile we think it's probably a closet um, some sort of storage closet which obviously is not sufficient enough for all this stuff and then out the front here is where we are putting rubbish bags until we can get like rubbish removal to come and pick them up um, so we're just carefully trying to separate rubbish and tie it up properly um, yeah so that is pretty much it and the recycle bin is totally full as well so this is all the rubbish that we have collected so far it's day three it's rubbish collection day tomorrow so we're going to put council rubbish bags clear out the kitchen put council rubbish bags on the curb and the recycling bin which is here so coming to the front door the bedroom on the right and the spare room on the left down there so today we want to concentrate on this front bit of the dining room clear this out get a bit more room down towards the kitchen Oops. so I want to get rid of a lot of this rubbish today because then I can put that out in the street for the rubbish the normal weekly rubbish collection tomorrow so this is looking back towards the lounge and the front door from the kitchen a lot of tools and stuff toilet there's nothing really in there anymore and then the bathroom I need to put these books in the living room so that we can maybe put glass bottles and recycling in here just trying to put different stuff in different rooms so the living room is looking a lot better 
this stuff is pretty much all to be donated which is great and some rubbish this stuff here is a lot of clothes and shoes and things and that's all to be donated as well so I guess you can say the living room is like our donations room I'm going to clear some of this hallway so we can get into the bedroom today this is the spare bedroom made a lot of progress in here last time we were here and pretty much most of the stuff here is going to go to the tip because it's rubbish old mattress and things like that and then today we want to make some headway in the bedroom and hopefully we'll find like maybe some papers or photos or things for the family to keep as well back at the house so it's day four it's, and um, this is where we left off so all the perishables in the kitchen were bagged up and they've all been collected because it's rubbish day today and it's got some more rubbish here we're getting a rubbish truck to come in next week some stuff that needs clearing out all these bins are now empty that have food and pantry items in it and fruit and veg and rice and this stuff needs clearing out we'll try and do a bit of this today and we got a lot of this stuff done in the dining room you can actually see there's a phone on the wall now and we can actually see now that there are cupboards here oops we can actually see now there are cupboards here uh, we didn't actually realize that was a cupboard <laughs> because it was covered by stuff you can see the cupboard handles now so i'll check that out later today we dig a hole through this stuff that's just a hot water cupboard it didn't actually have anything in it except the hot water tank and a spare roll of kitchen floor linoleum and then these are the books that were stacked up the hospice truck is coming today to collect books and these are like four boxes of books here as well as what's in the lounge on the opposite side by the front door we also need to clear out all this stuff again a lot of books and things more donations in this room we've stacked a whole lot of rubbish to go to the tip and some recycling you can see the paper bags with paper recycling and cardboard boxes and all this stuff over here is pretty much rubbish so we're just trying to separate stuff in rooms just to make it easier for collections and sorting out stuff and then today i think we're also going to tackle this room which is the bedroom oh another bedroom so we got the recycling day wrong they're not picking up recycling plastic and paper this week this week it was glass we didn't have a recycling glass crate so we couldn't do that the recycling bin's full so we've had to put all the rest of the plastic and glass that we're emptying out in bags here but we'll get the rubbish removal people to take them away because they can recycle them up at the the tip at the landfill when they take the rest of the rubbish and yeah this is just the rubbish that's starting to pile up here day five this is what we managed to get done yesterday so I cleared out some of the furniture here and this is actually a pantry and there's some stuff in the cupboards and this is stuff to be donated found some more council rubbish bags which is handy and these are all donations like all of these boxes here and sort of back there a little bit are all books pretty much and that's in addition to what's in the living room which is through there so that's all donations of books and dvds and stuff as well so we've got some rubbish and then we've got some kitchen utensils i'm saying a box up for salvos um, this is a table from the kitchen and a chair that was up on this pile behind me and then this table was in the hallway already and so that's furniture to be donated but the kitchen trolley that we pulled out from over here there was a kitchen trolley in one of these tables the kitchen table went to the hospice yesterday they came picked up a whole lot of stuff so that's really good so um, we just need to empty out all the cupboards 
and there's a whole lot of tools here I think this area here is where there would have been a fridge if you're going to put a fridge in this house but um, the, the owner of this house didn't have a fridge and there are more tools and stuff we've got to go through end of day five made some progress in the bedroom Right, so almost finished. This is day six of coming into the house. And that's all recycling up there. And that's like a whole lot of like nails and drill bits and screws and things that he had. He had a lot of tools. Pulled up, he had some covering on the floor. And you can just see the difference where like that was that floor was covered up there. You can see the difference in colour. This corner is now clear and then this stuff has all been sorted out and it's pretty much all like tools and DIY sort of supplies. Empty there were a whole lot of bottles along the windowsill and in the cupboard. All that's gone. All the rubbish from the bathroom is out and it's got some tools and things now. And everything else is pretty much clear. So there's actually quite a lot of room here. So here, I thought this was where the fridge would go at first, but you can see the taps just there on the right hand side. And that's, so that's where you put your, your washing machine and potentially a dryer if you stacked one on top of the other. And I was trying to figure out where you would put the fridge in this kitchen. And there's the power point on the wall just there. So you'd actually put the fridge there. So I was wondering why this cupboard here didn't open up all the way, just that little bit opens. So I think that's where you put a fridge. No, no, sorry. This is part of the hazmat crew cleaning up the bedroom in his lovely pink gloves. And this is the second bedroom. We've just put a lot of like cardboard and paper recycling. And this is all stuff to go to the tip. Oops, tripping over stuff. This is just the easiest way to do it. You separate things out into rooms. We're actually going to ask the rubbish removal guys if they want all these trolleys because they were just here in the house. And this room is very dusty. I'm going to sneeze in a sec. And then the lounge, this is all the donations. And there's just a few more books and things that will go in here from the bedroom. But this is the room where we'll get. I think the Salvation Army are coming in early next week with a truck and they're going to take all the books, DVDs and furniture and then once the donations are cleared the rubbish truck will be told to come in and clear out everything else that's left. So more books, this is the dining room now, I'm just standing by the front door more stuff to get donated most of what's in these boxes is books lots and lots of books and then there's just some stuff it's just our stuff overalls and stuff this is all donations So I guess now you're wondering what the house looked like after we decluttered. What happened, basically we finished decluttering the house before I flew back to Sydney. Everything had been sorted through, every single item, so all the rubbish had been bagged up and whatever we could have bagged up in council bags and put on the street for the normal weekly rubbish collection had been taken away. But there was still a lot of rubbish to be collected and a lot of items to be donated. So even though we were dropping off boxes at the end of each day to charities, there was still a lot that 
either wouldn't fit in the cars or you know there was furniture that needed to be taken away in the truck so this wonderful hospice store sent out a truck a couple of times and basically collected all these things and took them away and the same with the rubbish the rubbish wasn't cleared out until a bit later and then once everything was cleared out of the house the cleaners came through so this is what the house ended up looking like As you can see it's a great little house I think it's really sweet and it's just amazing how much lighter it is without the walls of stuff like the mountains of stuff piling up everywhere it's just amazing how different the space looks I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up that would mean the world to me and of course subscribe if you haven't already by clicking on my face below and I'll see you in my next video bye